हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक सो टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस एंड हाउ टू फाइंड आउट इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस बाय यूजिंग फ्रैक्शन स्ट्रिप्स सो फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द मीनिंग ऑफ इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस आर फ्रैक्शंस दैट रिप्रेजेंट्स द सेम पार्ट ऑफ अ होल सी एज आई हैव ड्रॉन सम सर्कल्स हियर नाउ टू द फर्स्ट सर्कल I'm dividing into two equal part. To the second circle, I'm dividing into four equal parts. To the third circle, I'm dividing into six equal parts. And this fourth one is to eight equal parts. Now. I'm sharing in this. See, here I have said it only one part. Here, these two parts. Here, these three parts, and here, these four parts. So first, we will write the value of this shaded portion. In this whole, so this represents half or one by two. Here the shaded part is one, and this circle has been divided into two equal parts. So denominator will be two. Numerator always tells us the selected number of parts of the shaded part, and denominator tells us the total number of parts. Here in this, the value of shaded part will be. One, two, two parts I have shaded, so two will become the numerator, and total number of parts one, two, three, four. It will become our denominator. In this circle, one, two, three, three parts has been shaded out of one, two, three, four, five, six, six equal parts. And here, total number of parts are eight, and I have shaded in four parts, so it will be four upon. Eight. So these all the four fractions are representing the same part of a whole. That is half, half, half. Here also half. This is also half. So that's why these all the fractions will be equal, or we call them equivalent fraction. We generally find the equivalent fraction. By multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator of the fraction by the same number. So today I will use some fraction steps to clarify the concept of equivalent fraction. So these are the fraction steps. This is a whole. This is representing a whole. Now this whole has been divided into two equal parts. And each strip is representing one by two. See, one by two. That means two halves are making a whole here. Now, it has been divided in four equal parts. So now each part will represent one by four. One, two, three, and four. So four one fourth will make a whole. Now I have divided this in. These are one by six. That means now this whole has been divided into six equal parts. So let's put them one, two. Three, four, five and six, five and six. So six one six will make a whole. Is that equal to whole? Now this has been divided into eight equal parts. So now the value of each part will be one by eight. Let's put them one, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट सो यू कैन ऑल्सो सी दीज एट वन एट्स आर फॉर्मिंग अ होल नाउ दिस हैज बीन डिवाइडेड इन टेन इक्वल पार्ट्स सो नाउ ईच पार्ट इज smaller than this you can see 1 tenth is smaller than 1 eighth 1 eighth is smaller than 1 sixth and it is smaller than 1 fourth it is smaller than half because as we increase the number of parts of a whole so the parts will become smaller so 1 by 10 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So these are the fraction strips. This is whole. This is one by two or half. This is one by four or we can also say quarter. This is one sixth or one by six. This is one by eight or one eighth, and this is one by ten or we can say one tenth. So now we will find the equivalent fractions from this. See. How to find out the equivalent fraction by using these strips? See this half is forming by two one four, one and two, two one four are forming a half, and these are equal to how many one six? Let's separate them. This half is equal to three one six one two three. It is equal to three one six, and this is equal to one two three four four one eight, and this is equal to one two three four five five one ten. so we can clearly see that this half is equal to what 2 and 2 upon 4 2 by 4 is equal to what 1 2 3 3 by 6 it is 4 and 4 4 by 8 and this is 5 and 5 so 5 upon 10 so these all Are called equivalent fractions because these fractions are representing the same part of a whole. That is a half. So these are the various ways to make the half. So now we will learn how to find out the equivalent fractions of a given fraction. Let's do one question. Find the next three equivalent fractions of two upon five. So this we know. that to find out the equivalent fraction of a fraction we will multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number so here 2 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator so we will start multiplying when we will multiply this fraction by 1 then we will get the same fraction 2 upon 5 so we will start multiplying by the Next number after one, two comes. So we have to find the next three equivalent fractions. So two upon five multiplied by two in the numerator and two in the denominator. The next is two upon five multiplied by three in the numerator and three in the denominator. 
Okay, and next one is two upon five is multiplied by four in the numerator and four in the denominator. By four we will multiply in both numerator as well as in denominator. So here it is two upon five. Here we will get two twos are four, five twos are ten. Is equal to what? Two threes are six and five threes are fifteen. And here two fours are eight and five fours are twenty. Hence four upon ten, six upon fifteen. And eight upon twenty will be the equivalent fraction of two upon five. These are equivalent fraction of two upon five. These all the fractions are equal in their value. These all are representing the same part of a whole. So now I hope that the concept of equivalent fraction is clear to you. So if you like my video. then please like it share and comment and subscribe my channel see you in the next video till then take care goodbye